okay so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do a password reset for your cleric app okay because we've covered how to sign up how to log in and how to redirect to the dashboard and all of that other stuff but let's say your user forgets their password you need to know how to do a password reset for cleric so without wasting any time let's get started so we have a basic setup here right and i've simplified this even further i'm just doing a email to verify our user has a account in our app in our cleric app okay and then we're just going to get the password the new password and we're going to send a verification code to the email that they have provided okay and this is to check if they ended up being verified if their email is verified then this will trigger a true and that will then change our form to go to the next step okay so we're gonna handle the reset and the email verification okay to check if our user email is in our app okay so using the successful verification I'm going to change this into successful verification. I'm going to be right back. Okay, I have changed this to successful verification. Okay. Here, I've also changed this and others. Okay. So when the user has been successfully verified, right, the email has been verified, there, this function is going to then work when I press a button in our form okay I'm in the form right now and on submit one of these two will trigger based on whether the email is verified or not which is a true or false statement okay so if it is not verified then we will see this form okay and it only has an email and a button to to trigger the function okay and this other one has a password input field and a code input field to verify the code that has been sent to the email of the user trying to reset their password. I'm actually going to change this text code code. Okay, so this is it. Okay, that this is all that's happening here so now to start working on our verify email okay because this is going to check if our user is a user with an account in our app and also this is going to send the verification email as well so i'm just going to console log actually just going to copy this this is just to check if we ended up getting any error while trying to do this so here if you see we are checking the is loaded to check whether cleric has ended up loading or not so if cleric has ended up loading then it will run this it will show our form if it is not done loading yet it'll just return null okay so the other one is signed in so this will check whether our user has a count or not by passing in two properties into this object and those are the strategy and the second one is identifier okay and this is going to be email okay so we're gonna use the identifier to check our email and the strategy is going to be reset password email code this is going to be the strategy so what this will do is first check the email and then it will send a code to our user and I'm gonna use since this is an await this is returning a promise I'm gonna use dot then to simplify this and here what I'm gonna do is do set successful verification and I'm going to trigger this to true which is going to then change our form 
actually I remember now that I didn't even show you the form yet okay so this is the form that we have I'm gonna put in the email to go to the next step then okay but first we need to set up the handle reset so this is going to be the same just in case we get some kind of error so to handle the reset what we need to do is use uh, a wait and then we're going to use the sign in and then we're going to use a method called dot attempt first factor okay and this is going to take in two things the strategy and i'll get to that later next is going to be the code okay and the third one is going to be the password so we're going to send in the password the new password and then the verification code that was sent to the email and here we're going to tell it what strategy we're going to use for this okay so the strategy is going to be the reset password email code okay so it's the same thing but with this attempt first factor okay so after we've done this this will return a promise so i'm going to use dot then results and we can do two things here we can either log in the user and i've already shown you how to do that in the sign up and login tutorials but here, what we're going to do is we're going to redirect the user. And I've already shown you that as well, but I'm going to show that again. So I'm going to redirect the user after I have verified that my user's password has changed. Okay, so I'm going to do result dot status. Okay, just to get the status of this. Okay, and when I do this, it's going to be equal to complete okay so if the status is complete what that means is the password has been reset and now i'm gonna redirect the user to the login page so we're gonna use the use router hook okay you can import it using the next navigation okay so here what we're going to do is router dot push okay and here i'm going to do slash sign up and login and custom i've just named it this okay this is just the name of my folder here okay uh you can name this whatever you want to simplify this even if you want to create like two separate forms two separate pages for the login and sign up okay so i'm going to redirect it to this url because this is my url to the custom login form that i've created okay so i think this should work i'm just going to save this and i'm going to wait for everything to load refresh this just to be sure So this is a user in my account, okay? So I'm gonna do verify first. And did I receive an error? Let me just check that. True, okay, the session exists. You know what? This is actually a good time to show you another thing, that you should not allow your user to come to this page if they are already logged into the account. I'm already logged into my account, that is for this one, okay? So you can use a hook that comes with Cleric. It is called the use auth, okay? And instant. So next, I'm gonna destructure this and I'm going to get is signed in. And this will tell me if the user is signed in or not. Okay. Okay. So if 
the user is signed in, right? Then what I want to do I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go to my dashboard page, dashboard, and I will save this. So now when this page loads, I'll refresh this. And now when the page loads, it will check whether the user is logged in or not. Okay. Yeah took me to my dashboard but it did load the ui first okay and there is a way to avoid that so here what you could do after you set this up is add if is not signed in then return this this okay, as you can see it did not load anything and just redirected me here okay so that's how you can set that up to just redirect you here and I will first log out Now I will go to the slash password reset. So now you can see I'm getting the form. I'm gonna send this and I'm getting the next form because I would have gotten a verification email that would have my code that I would put here. Because I used a test email, I'm just gonna use the default code, which is 424242 and then set a new password. I'm gonna reset this and I'm taking here, which means that I have changed the password and I'm gonna log in to the account using the new password. I'm gonna do login. Currently in single session mode, only be signed into one account at a time. Okay, so it turns out that after you reset your password, you are automatically logged into your account after verifying the code. So this is why it's saying that only a single session is allowed. Okay, so I've already gone and logged myself out. I haven't refreshed this page. That's why you're seeing this message still. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to reset the password again, but I've gone in and changed it to the slash dashboard page to show you that after resetting our password, we can use router.push to redirect our user to the dashboard page. Okay, I'm going to have to set the user as active. Okay, now you need to set the user as active and set this. I'm going to add the session. Okay, and the session is going to be the result dot. session ID okay set active here okay we need this to then trigger this and then we will get redirected to, to the dashboard page I'm gonna refresh okay now I'm gonna enter the email verify now the password set and now I'm logged in now I'm gonna log out I'm gonna use the login page that I have I'm just gonna use the pre-made component okay just to quickly do this as you can see I'm redirected to the dashboard using the new password this is how you create a password reset page. I hope you like this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more tutorials like this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.